What's up guys? It's your girl M. It's so dark in here. Let me turn that on. Okay. <sighs> Happy Saturday. It's been a day. It's been a day. Um, I am about to make this bird's eye chicken stir fry. It's really tasty. Making this for dinner. It just sounded good tonight. Usually I keep these uh, bird's eye meals. I always try to get one with every grocery order because I don't have to do anything to it. I just throw it in this pot here and it's done and dinner is served. It just sounds really good tonight. So that's why we're having that. Abel's drinking some water. How are you guys doing? So all I'm gonna do, I need to get these um, dishes in the dishwasher. But anyways, I was on the phone with the electric company earlier today. It's been like a lot of different things that I've had to do. I'm taking down my Halloween decorations tonight. So RIP to the Halloween decorations. You know I love them. <laughs> Y'all know I love them. But I just wanted to talk to you guys. I don't know. I've, I've been up. I Last night before I went to sleep, we went to bed pretty late. Um, because Vaughn's 24 hour stream kind of like made our schedule a little crazy, our sleep schedule. And before I went to bed, I saw everything on Twitter unfolding about the Astro World Festival here in Houston. If you don't know or you haven't heard about the Astro World Festival, it's um, Travis Scott's festival. Let me get this in here so I can concentrate. There we go. I'm just going to let that sit. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys. So, I started seeing all the coverage about what happened at the Astro World Festival. And this is after I started watching the show off topic, but I started watching Yellowstone on Peacock and I'm obsessed, it's so good. Anyways, I started watching and looking at things that pertain to Astro World Festival. And basically, if you don't know, Astro World is um, Astro World Festival is um, Travis Scott's music festival. It's happened before. I think this is the third third one. This is either the third or the second one. Uh, but Unfortunately, what happened at Astro World Festival is people were severely injured. Over 300 people were injured throughout the entire day. And this was only day one of the festival. And also, eight people, unfortunately and sadly, ended up losing their lives. Now, I don't want to get into the gory details of everything. I'm sure you guys have seen things posted on social media and it's very triggering, it's very scary, and it's very upsetting. Um, and I just kind of wanted to talk because I've been to music festivals, I've gone to so many. I've been to Bonnaroo, I've been to Pitchfork like three times. There have been multiple times that I've been at festivals and what I saw in the footage of what happened at Astro World is like mind boggling to me. And I don't want to get too much into it. I'm just saying like I just feel so terribly for for everybody who had a terrible experience there because there are people that are traumatized from what they saw. And even though they physically are okay, mentally I don't know how I would be able to recover from seeing what has been reported as people have seen, you know? We just have to get out of this, like, idol worship, out of this celebrity worship mindset because 
people are getting hurt. People are hurting themselves and people are hurting others just to get closer to said celebrity. And I just want to say like how terribly I feel for um, the people who went to a, a festival, a music festival, expecting to have a great time and this is what happens. Like it's really awful and I think Travis and the the people that were in charge of putting this festival together. They need to be held accountable for the areas where they created an unsafe environment for the festival goers. I've been to many festivals and I, th that's never happened to me. I've never had a situation like that. I have had situations, yes, where I feel like, I felt like I couldn't breathe but I was able to get out of the situation. Like a few of the situations were at Bonnaroo. We were waiting for Frank Ocean to perform and I think I have like, there's something about flashing lights with me. I'm not gonna say that I, I have epilepsy because I've, I'm, I've not been diagnosed, but the, the fl they, they had this strobe going and it was just flashing at us while we're waiting and I had to literally like, cover my eyes because it was making me feel nauseous and i ended up leaving that set early it was frank ocean one of the artists that i wanted to see more than anybody and i knew i had to leave because i was not feeling well i felt like i couldn't breathe i felt like it was claustrophobic and i just i i had to get out of there and we were under a tent so it made it a little worse um, I, I couldn't feel like a breeze like if I could just have felt like a, a cool breeze of air or something I maybe would have wouldn't have had to leave but I had to get myself out of there but I was the point is I was able to get myself out of there out of a situation that made me feel like I was going my body was going limp I was able to safely exit and I was fine I at Pitchfork at this music festival in Chicago, heat of the summer in July, uh, Kendrick Lamar was performing, and this is when he first kind of came out. He, uh, Good Kid, Mad City hadn't come out, so he um, was performing early on in the day. Let me check my food. He uh, was performing. He perf he started performing at like two, one or two, and so it's very hot. We're in Chicago. And this woman next to me and my friend li just goes limp. She literally goes limp and passes out right into him. And Kendrick, he didn't see that happen. I don't, I don't know how he would have been able to see that happen. But he saw the reaction in the crowd. Everybody was trying to get this girl up and out of the crowd so she could receive medical attention. And what Kendrick did was he stopped performing, stopped speaking and said, is she okay? Make a way so we can get her out and she can get medical attention. And then literally, if she was able, they were able to get her out two minutes later, not even two minutes goes by and Kendrick is able to resume performing and we all kind of just forget that it happened. And I'm not saying it's solely the artist's responsibility, but it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. And there are, th the only person that the people in the crowd are going to be able to take direction from and listen from is the artist in front of them. And it is the artist's responsibility to kind of gauge what's going on and if countless people are saying stop the show audibly if your producers the people behind the scenes can hear the crowd going stop the show they should be coming out to tell you and the show should be stopping so that we, there could be a break a breath and that whatever is going on can be resolved so people can continue to enjoy the music festival safely so I'm not saying it's all Travis's fault and he's the worst person in the world, but his shows have been not notoriously 
uh, very rough. And he kind of incites that. He's like, I like the Ragers, the Ragers, the Ragers. So it doesn't create a very conducive environment for, for safety. This, this is all I'm saying. And, and I don't even want to go into this so much. I, I, I don't know why I'm so like upset about it, but it just, and, and then at Bonnaroo 2, I almost like fell in a mosh pit. And that was the scariest thing that I've, that's ever happened to me ever in my life. Uh, it was a Danny Brown, it was Danny Brown's performance. Love Danny. He's a great guy. He's funny. Um, I love his music. And literally his DJ came out and they just went crazy. And my friend and I were separated. She was, she's so small. She was, she was like lifted up and they, they got her out. We were separated by the moshing that was going on. And there were girls literally in tears trying to get out of this mosh pit. And luckily, like I wasn't crying, but I was panicked because I knew if I tripped, if I fell, I didn't see how I was going to be able to get up. And luckily for me, there was this like huge guy and he, he, he yelled at his friends. He was like, he was like, we've got to help these girls. There's girls crying. We got to get them out. I swear to God. I thank this man every day of my life. Like, I thank this man so much because he literally saved me. He picked me up and got me to where I could get out safely. And it, by the time I turned around to like thank him, he was already going back to get more, um, more people that needed to get out. And I just think that we need more people like that. And I know that there were people in that mosh. I know that there were people at the concert at, Astro World Fest that were trying legitimate like trying everything they could to to help people and save people and I think that shows a lot about humanity but we're also getting to see another side of humanity where people are downplaying what happened and there's a lot of people that aren't going to want to take accountability for this because this is a very big deal and my heart just goes out to all the people that have been affected by this and all the people that have been like traumatized and all they wanted to do was see their favorite artist uh, perform. And like as somebody who's gone to many music festivals, I just like, it just, it breaks my heart. And honestly, even with the pandemic, like you couldn't pay me to go to a music festival today. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the other thing too is that like Bonnaroo and Pitchfork have done such a great job those are the two festivals i've been to i can't speak to any other festivals never even in the danny brown mosh pit like i didn't fear for my life i felt for my i, I was a little worried about my safety but i got out just fine and i know there's room for error and people are going to get hurt that that happens but for people to pass away and for that many people to be injured 300 people in one day that's, that's a lot. And I see people blaming Kylie and I would never blame Kylie. That's not her responsibility. She was there, but, um, she did post, um, picture like video and you could see the ambulance in the crowd and it's like, uh, Kylie, uh, maybe don't want to have that up. I don't know. I just, I, I don't even know why I'm like really talking about it. It just like, it just really upset me. And I, I just feel for everybody that like went and their time was, you know, cut short or that their um, experience was tainted by what happened. And I know that there were, um, there were some drug issues too. Um, somebody was selling laced pills. Like it's just, it really makes me like scared. <laughs> like, I don't know. It just, I feel like the world is so different pre-pandemic and post-pandemic and we're not even out of the pandemic I don't think I don't know technically I have no idea I'm just you know I don't know but it makes me scared that this is the kind of stuff that happens and I don't know it was just all this happening just really made me think today and I just I hold your loved ones close and just more than anything I just want people to like understand that we all have to look out for each other. Like we're all in this together and 
like being kind and being compassionate and being helpful like that is something that i think we're losing like people are so we're so desensitized from these kinds of things happening there's people like oh, no big of a deal everybody gets hurt in mosh pits you know like people are so desensitized to this kind of stuff and we really need to look at things for what they are and stop thinking like oh just scroll by like i don't know i i don't know it's, i i it just really like it's just weighing on my mind heavily and um I know for one thing's for sure, uh, I will never go to an Astro World Fest. Never planned on going, but definitely not going again. Um, and the people that, you know, who shirked responsibilities and, you know, didn't make it as safe as it could be. And y'all can do your own research. Y'all can look at everything and make, come to conclusions on your own. Just my conclusions on things is that Travis, his management team, and the, uh, the producers of this... Uh, festival they definitely need to be held accountable for um their parts i'm not saying that it's totally on travis i'm not saying it's a, it, i'm not saying that i'm just saying each party needs to be held responsible for their part in what happened and um that's just how i'm feeling i don't know i i maybe this maybe i shouldn't have made this video i just feel i don't know just something about it that just like struck a chord in me and and I want to remain this sensitive of things because I don't want to be somebody that's totally desensitized and I just think things like this is no big deal like I I don't want to be that kind of person I want to keep my humanity I want to you know think oh wow that shouldn't have happened you know I I, I don't want to be a jaded person or somebody that just doesn't think about these kinds of things and doesn't think about the impact that it has on society and on um on people you know i don't know able snoring and i gotta take my halloween decorations down i already said that but i'm definitely planning on taking them down tonight i'm really excited for this uh, let me show it to you guys um, Cooking video coming tomorrow. What you guys need to let me know in the comment section down below um, What cooking video you guys would like me to do tomorrow um, Chicken and rice I can do beef stew I can do um, Firecracker chicken Let me know and it, even if I don't do like the one that you want me to do tomorrow, like all of those are going to be cooking, cooking videos and turkey burgers. I can do turkey burgers too. So look at this. Look how good. I love these meals. It just sounds so tasty today. This is what I'm in the mood for. So yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and sorry for no video yesterday. Um, our sleep schedule got all messed up and um, I wanted to go live on the main channel. So that was a mulligan. Give me one day. Video is still coming every day of this month. Um, I just unfortunately was unable to yesterday because of everything going on with the live stream and then me and Bob fell asleep. And then I went live on <laughs> Emma Vaughn channel. And so I was unable to get something up for you guys, but Maybe sometime I'll do like two videos. Like maybe one day I'll do like two videos to make it up to you. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this little random rant video. I don't know, talking video. Do you guys want me to do more talking videos? Because I feel like I want to talk to you guys about things going on in the world. And just like kind of my thoughts and opinions about things. Um, but if you don't want that, let me know. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Uh, stay safe, guys. Be sure to follow my Twitter at MNMan and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Hold your, hold your loved ones co close. Give them hugs and kisses because, you know, nothing is promised. Um, but yeah, that's it. Love ya. Mwah, mwah, mwah.